Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you the larva of the Colorado potato beetle. These are potato plants. This is what they tend to go on. And this is one of my container groupings of potatoes and the larva are everywhere. And the first thing before you're treating pests, insects, diseases, you should be able to identify, you know, what you have in your garden. And this is exactly what the larva look like. The adult has stripes. It's got a brown yellow color to it. And basically, the adult already came in here, laid eggs, and these are the larvae. The larvae are going to feed, let me get my shadow out of there, on the potatoes, on the potato leaves. And actually, the potato leaves can take a lot of damage from them. But this is pretty much a pretty big infestation. Now they're just in my group right here. Here's some more. And they look a little bit like beetles now, but they're really squishy. They're still in the larva form. And what they're going to do is they're going to feed on the plant for a while. And then they go down into the soil, burrow in there, and then they transform into the potato beetle. So you can spray the leaves with neem oil because they're kind of like caterpillars they're larvae they're eating the leaves they would get that neem oil inside them they will die off in two or three days if you know that you get these you want to kind of take notes now know that it's about June 20th beginning of June the Colorado potato beetle comes into my garden so I would spray this every seven to ten days with neem oil keep these under control but because I have so many there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen like twenty five right in here I'm gonna dust this with spinosad that's an organic insect dust you can use seven which is a chemical dust diatomaceous earth is a dust but it doesn't have any kind of poison in it basically so that's not going to really work on these. So I'm going to just dust the leaves. The dust, the insect dust, is a non-discriminate killer. So it's going to kill good and bad insects. So I will remove all the flowers that are on my potatoes so no bees come over here. The dust will take care of this. It will be under control. Let me show you an area where I've already put down some dust. I want to cut in here and just show you what the dusting should look like. It's just a fine dusting across the leaves. Every bit of this is not a poison. A lot of the dusts have like, you know, 90% inert powder in there to help spread the spinosad or the seven dust chemical across your plants. So spinosad is going to take two or three days. Just lightly dust across your leaves. You know, some of it will contact the beetle, but it's more important that you just have the dust finely spread over the potato crop and they will eventually crawl through it, they will ingest it, and will affect their nervous system and they should die off. If this doesn't work, you may want to try the neem oil, but you can also get in here too if you don't want to use any chemicals and just hand pick everything that you see because the potato plants can really take a lot of damage, so just remove them. But the dusting is just a nice fine dusting. If you're worried about good insects, bees, pollinators, etc., do this late at night as it's getting dark, come and wash it off in the morning, and you may have to do this two or three times. But just a nice night, yeah, a nice light dusting across the leaves and let your insect dust do its work. So you really want to stay on this. Neem oil will help because you're gonna chew the leaf, get the oil inside them, and the as a, as a direct and in cold pressed neem oil will kill them off. The insect dust will also work. Now, you may see a beetle crawling around that has 10 stripes, has that golden uh, yellow to it. That is the actual adult Colorado potato beetle, and dust will also work on that. But if you're looking around in your potato leaves and you see this, this is the problem you have, and this is a great way to treat it. You can pick these off too. There's no point, you know, if you see them, put the dust down and just remove them all. Throw them into a bucket of soapy water. Let's take one more look at where we started. So that's a root pouch in there. I do sell the root pouches at my seed shop. And then these are root pouches in here, but they're all kind of touching. So you can see they're over in that pouch. And as you work your way down, the leaves are still green. Things are still going good. You know, you see all 
the larvae crawling around doing their thing and they all have probably just started hatching over the last seven days there's some more but they're able to move across this area now when you come over to here I mean look at all the larvae over here you see more down there they haven't made the jump over to this container there's none on there there aren't any over here so they do move slowly so you have time to really get them under control so start looking around now for the larva the potato beetle some of the adults get down your sprays put down your dusts and you should have a fine crop of potatoes potatoes can take a lot of damage thanks for watching please subscribe i'll be going over different pests and diseases you find in your garden and talk about how you identify them and treat them again thanks for watching